Here we are. Alright, now by the title of this video, y'all already know what this is, man. Homie got a new keyboard. I mean, Amazon kind of fucked up the packaging. What the hell is this, bro? That's just scary to me. But yeah, we're just gonna be doing another unboxing of it. Last keyboard unboxing I did did, did fucking, fucking numbers, numbers, so I gotta milk this, bro. I always regret shaving the beard. I don't know. I'm just not used to my normal face, so this just looks hella weird to me. But enough about the beard, man. We're here for this damn keyboard. All right, so my camera is like mounted here on like a tripod. So I'm a, I'm gonna be just switching through my phone and shit if I need to show you my desk or something. Just because I don't really want to move the camera, bro. I don't need a knife. Come on, now I'm massive, bro. Fuck a knife. They got the packing titties on deck. <laughs> Beat the keyboard, y'all. Hey, man, that looks sick as hell. Oh my god, that's actually fire. As y'all can tell, I got the Apex Pro TKL with the adjustable switches. Some of you might be asking, Raph, we know you had a black with a Chroma V2. We know you have a Ducky one too many. So what the fuck is the point of a third keyboard? Let me tell you. The Razer was too big, all right? I didn't have that much desk space because of it. Then I got the Ducky. And you know, for a while, the ducky was working well. But then I realized not having arrow keys kind of sucks. Like the arrow keys are actually a pretty important set of keys for like editing or playing different types of games, right? And just in general, it's nice to have the arrow keys if I'm like typing or something. So the ducky's a little too small. That's why we make the compromise on the TKL. Because TKL, what are those? Those are arrow keys. Are we playing CSGO? Come on now, Karambe, yo. Hey guys, welcome to my... ASMR. We're gonna be unboxing the keyboard. All right, the moment of truth. What if I drop this? Oh my! Oh, oh my God! All right, um, we're switching to the iPhone mode just because. Um, I don't know, man. I feel like the iPhone mode makes sense. All right. This got the walk. Man, I'm gonna have to do this with one hand. <laughs> this is not the move. Oh, shit. All right. We got the keyboard out of the damn box. The wire is right there. And then we got some paperwork here. What is this? The instruction manual for it. Who the fuck needs that? Are there stickers, bro? There better be stickers, fam. Okay. And this is what we're talking about, the, the, the wrist rest. All right, so that's good. Back to the camera. Are y'all not admiring the sexiness? Ah! All right, you know, sorry about that. You know, keyboard <laughs> keyboards make me feel some type of way. The wrist rest is actually pretty sick too. You could like, you could like beat someone with this, right? Like, it's actually pretty cool. All right, now we can kind of tell here the difference between these keyboards, right? You know what I mean? We just got this. These are a little more spaced out than the ducky that I'm using right now. I think all I got to do is just plug in the wire, and then I'll show you all how the setup looks with the keyboard plugged in. All right, the keyboard's set up. Everything's working. So let me show you guys a little bit of what we're working with. All right, so I got the keyboard set up and everything. I think I changed the actuation point. To the lowest it can go, change the gift to leg day. I don't know. I just put something funny. I just messed around on the on the software basically. Um yeah, dude, listen to the typing, bro. Like Bro, this is why I like this keyboard. And the lights are sick. I'm trying to figure out how I can keep it consistently bright. I'll figure that out later. Got the little wrist rest. I just wanted to show you all the keyboard in its position. Still got a bunch of desk space for my mouse and stuff. I tilt my keyboard anyway, so I'll get more space as it goes. And for the people who care about a typing test, I got you.